Hello, this is Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com and in this uh, Driving in Wyoming Shaky Cam Interior Review we are in the 2014 Mazda MX-5 better known as the Miata. Uh, this is a, a fun little car it's a uh, and by little I mean really little um, so there won't be much to go through because uh, there's only two seats in this car and uh, um, well, and everything's within reach of the driver, literally, including the passenger's door. So, <laughs> uh, over on the door, all you have are uh, the window locks and the uh, side mirror controls. Uh, you have this little cup holder that, uh, for me, has really only been useful to maybe throw some house keys in. Um, under here, uh, it's hard to see, but there's, a, uh, there's the uh, trunk release there, and then the hood release. Uh, traction control right here and the vents um, one thing about tiny cars like this is they cool down and heat up very very quickly uh, on the uh, steering wheel you have here's your lighting controls and over here is your uh, windshield washers and wipers now in the center this will be a little bit rough but uh, we'll see what we can get over here's the fuel gauge right here is uh, rpms engine heat and uh, speed, um, 140 might be kind of uh, uh, a little bit dreamy in this car, but it's possible, I guess, downhill. Um, this is not a really fast car. Uh, it's not made to be that. This is made to be a, um, it's made to be a, a, a cruiser. It's a roadster. It's not a speedster. Anyway, uh, engine heat, and I was, uh, I labeled this wrong. This is oil heat, sorry. Uh, and engine heat over here. Then you use this button to change what's in here and you use that button to change the lighting and uh, so forth. So that's, uh, that's the instrument cluster. Looking at the steering wheel, I want you to look very, um, uh, you'll look very closely at a, a couple of things here. We'll go through the obvious first. Uh, this is your controls for multimedia, um, you know, your stereo and whatnot, uh, and telephone. Over here is cruise control. Now, I want you to see these paddle shifters. You notice that this says up and this says down. You can shift this car with one hand. It's very, very cool. It's, it's uh, uh, almost exactly the way uh, Formula One works, uh, more or less. You uh, shift up with this, pull it in, shift down with this, pushing it back. This allows you to to shift the car with one hand like this so that you can keep the other hand in a different position on the steering wheel, which I really like because this car is uh, uh, very, very tight steering. It's almost as if it has no power steering at all. Uh, so you want to be able to move one of your hands around uh, in order to get a better grip uh, or a better position for pulling or pushing uh, to make the turns. And since those are on both sides, you can swap hands back and forth. Uh, you get, it didn't take me very long to get really fast at shifting with these and get really used to that idea um, so that I could move my hands around. I really, really like this system. Very, very good. Nicely done. Um, over here, you can see there's no touch screen. And as far as I know, there is no option for one for this car. Um, honestly, I don't know that you would want it. Uh, there's no use for a backup camera in this car and you know I really did not have any problems uh, connecting my phone paging through serious channels things like that I really didn't have any issues uh, even though this is not a color or touch screen um, so I I don't think you really need it in this car and I think it would just be a distraction from everything else which is this car is nothing but fun to drive that's the whole point of the car you really don't need these distractions so you can see there's more vents, uh, some uh, a few things. This is the uh, controls for the roof. So you uh, uh, close it with this, open it with this. You have to hold the button down. Uh, that is a safety requirement. Every car has that. It would be nice to have one touch, but uh, uh, as far as I know, it's eliminated on every car that ever had it. Um, controls are pretty simple. This is a multi-disc changer, so you can put multiple c uh, CDs in there. And then you can see across here, the uh, uh, various options for your radio. These are channel presets and also uh, CD selects. Down here, um, again, pretty obvious stuff. Um, you know, you can switch to a clock, you can scan uh, stations, so on and so forth. 
and uh, seek and so forth here and go up and down through the discs um, volume control tuner and air uh, climate controls I should say so you have uh, uh, this is where it blows out this is how hard or what temperature you want to set so you can set a temperature uh, you know an automatic temperature and then this is uh, how hard you want it to blow or you can just put it on auto so that this works down below that, there is a 12 volt plug, a uh, audio in. Um, this has seat heating, uh, which is good in a little car. It's a good thing to have. This is the automatic. There is a six speed manual, which I drove briefly. Um, that is honestly a lot more fun than this, but these go a long way towards making up for not having the manual. And as an everyday car, an automatic is a little more uh, uh, it's just a little more practical. Um, this is the uh, handbrake. These are the windows. So it rolls up and down the uh, driver and passenger windows. And these are the drink holders. This comes out so you can have a bigger space. And then this closes to uh, uh, um, make it so that you can hide little things in there. Now you notice there's no hand because this is literally the back of the car, but there is this, um, which has my hat in it. But this, uh, this is sort of your glove box back here and some of the speakers for the stereo. I want you to look at this leather seating. Isn't that beautiful? That's a, some great, great stuff. Uh, they carried that leather throughout so you can see there's brown on the door to, to offset the black. Um, it looks very good. I really like the way they did it. And then they have this, uh, they have this textured plastic, smooth plastic here, and then back to the texture again. I really kind of like that. They did a, a very good job on the interior of this car. Um, and that's pretty much it. That That is the, uh, that is the uh, Mazda MX-5. Um, this is your roof latch. So you, po you push this to release it, pull it down, and it, it uh, releases the roof and lets you open it. And lighting and uh, mirror that's it so uh it's i told you it's a very small car wouldn't take long well it, it took longer than expected but anyway very very nice car lots of fun to drive uh this is again aaron from aarononautos.com and this has been the interior of the 2014 mazda mx5 aka miata all right we'll talk to you again soon